this issue of homosexuality is a very serious issue because it is an issue of the human race. So it's not something that you should discuss to be seen, to be what? No, no, no. no. You only talk because you are sure of what you are saying. Otherwise, keep quiet. Don't add to the confusion. There is enough, enough confusion already. Now, when we are discussing the issue of homosexuality, in the last 200 years, in this part of the world, Ankore, Tijezi, Buganda, Bunyoro, Karagwe, Tanzania. So, but it was a small number. Five, I have had five names in the last 200 years. Because me, I'm from this area here. I'm, <laughs> my clan is one of the oldest in this part of the world. Now, when this issue, at that time, of course, this was a private issue. People were not fight, they were not encouraging it, but also they were not, they were not fighting it because it was like hidden, small secret of some few people. The problem with the Europeans is that they, they ectomera, they bring things which are out of place. So, when it came up, 2014, now this time, I started trying to study, to study this issue. What is it? Is homosexuality genetic? Is it, is it in some people, some inherited? Is it hormonal that somebody gets imbalance of hormones because there are some people who get those problems of hormonal hormones. The conclusion was no, this is a psychological disorientation by some people at some stage. It's not, it's not genetic, it's not hormonal, it is a psychological disorientation where somebody, because of some experience, hates the people he should love and loves the people he should not love. <laughs> it's a type of like a sickness. So, if that is the case, that suspicion of merely being being suspected, being suspected to be cannot be criminalized, cannot and should not be criminalized, because it's a, he's like a sick person. If somebody is sick, do you criminalize him for that? Now, I'm glad when they went back, apparently they, they cured this. This was what was cured. The problem is that, yes, you are, you are disoriented. You have got a, a, a problem to yourself. Now, don't try to recruit others now. If you try to recruit people into a disorientation, then we, we go for you. We punish you. That's number one. But, but secondly, if you violently grab some children and you rape them and so on, we kill you. Uh -huh. And that one I totally support, and I will support. The, 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 the three positions. Number one, merely being suspected of being is not an offense in itself. You are a person to be helped if you want, if you can be, if you want helped. Because it was, it was said, that some of the people can be helped to go to, to get back to normal. But secondly, if you want now to disorient others, uh -uh, we go for you, we punish you by, by imprisonment. If you go beyond that and you start raping children and so on, we kill you. Yes, sir. 
So there, we are, so, but later on, a, a woman from the World Bank rang me, and I told her exactly as I'm telling you, I said, we are, I'm going to sign the bill because uh, of the three points I've told you. N merely being, no, we cannot, we, cannot, we cannot criminalize you. Being and trying to recruit, we punish you by imprisonment. Raping, we kill you. Uh -huh. So, but then the, the woman of the World Bank told me some two other points, which, which we, 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 although I have signed the bill, I would like us to look at it also, ourselves, because I don't want to be on the side of wrong. Ah. In all these fights, I have never stood on the wrong side. Never. That is the line of the NRM. We never, never, never have two languages. What we tell you in the day is what we, what, what we shall tell you in the night. So therefore, the, the woman of the world, so therefore the, 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 the signing is finished, nobody will move us. But the woman from the World Bank told me two issues. We, we, for which I was going to return the bill again. Issue number one is requiring employers to make sure that there are no homosexuals in their company. Something like that. Something like you, you must ensure that the employers what what, but how 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 if that is there? I didn't read the whole bill, but if that is there, then we shall have to look at it because it's really you, you are wasting people's time to to be to, to know how many people in the company are. That's what the woman of the World Bank told me. Yeah. That's number one. If it is there, we shall have to, 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 to sort it out. Now, the second one, where I think we would be on the wrong ground, is to blame house, uh, real estate owners for houses being rented by homosexuals. If, if that is there, then we should sort it out. We don't have time to go into that now, but we shall have time for that. So these are the two areas which, which you should check again. So I was about, actually, I was about to return the bill again. But then, the other, the other, the, the end of last week, I was going through my papers, and I saw the letter from the Attorney General, telling me that the issues I had, I had raised with the whips had all been resolved, that I should now sign the bill, and I signed it. So, if you don't have the other weaknesses there, forget about all this nonsense. But what I don't want is NSOV on our side. We don't want any NSOV, any mistake, any, because you cannot say, I am an employer. I have got so many employers at Kisozi. How do I know who is a homosexual? And if I own a house, if I, if I am renting houses, how can I go to check the, 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 those, uh, the, the, the tenants who is a homosexual and who is not a homosexual? So please, otherwise, if we are sure that, the, the, because these are the only two weaknesses that I, 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 I had, if they are there. But otherwise, we shall move. If they cut aid, we shall sit down and discipline our expenditure. Rearrange our, 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 our budgets. If they interfere with our trade, we shall trade with others. 
So that one is, is not uh, my, 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 and that's what I was telling you. The other time when I met you at Kololo, I said, you people, you, you, you should be ready for a war. And you cannot fight a war when you are a pleasure seeker, if you like a soft life. So a war is not for soft life. Uh.